Hi YouTube family and welcome to today's video which is going to be all about the oils from The Ordinary. I have eight oils sitting here and I can't wait to share them with you. These oils I have just absolutely fallen in love with. I feel like they have changed up my makeup game, my skincare regimen. I just feel like they have been a wonderful addition to what I'm using right now for skincare. So I wanted to show you guys all of these oils, tell you what the benefits are, and then tell you actually what my favorites are. These oils are gonna range in price anywhere from about $4 and 20 cents on up to $14.90. So really good price point on them. I know that if any of you have ever tried to buy oils before anywhere else, you know that they are extremely expensive. Anybody that has ever watched Josie Marin sell her argon oil, you know that that oil is so expensive. Is it worth it? Absolutely. But if you can get it at a better price point, um, wouldn't that be something that you would go for? That is just my thinking. So I wanted to share with these with you. The ordinary is all about getting quality skincare at an affordable price so that every woman can have beautiful skincare and her best self can show through her skin. So I just think that that is such a wonderful thing. It actually, their whole entire premise, their whole entire company has changed it changed my skincare game because now I'm able to use all of these wonderful products that I would never have been able to afford before. So I'm excited to get to share these with you today, but let's get right into the products themselves. And I will be using these a lot because I cannot see to save my life. So we're going to start with the virgin sea buckthorn fruit oil. So this one boasts that it has a concentration of a rare palmitoleic, I hope I'm saying that right, acid, omega-7, for nourishing, protecting the skin. It also offers other fatty acids, antioxidants, vitamin E, carotenoids, lycopene, all those things. This oil is a super free radical fighter. And free radicals are the things in the air, in pollutants, are actually things that break down our skin's natural barrier. This, uh, this particular oil I showed you in my skincare video is a very, very bright red oil. I recommend, and it says on here, only use this at night because you're definitely going to get that orange color from it. And unless you really want to go around looking like an Oompa Loompa, you don't necessarily want to use that. But it really is a great, wonderful, beautiful oil. And ever since I started using that, my skin has just felt super soft. Actually, I use almost all of these every day in different configurations. So, and I use them on my body too. So I feel like my skin has become so soft and so supple in using all of these oils. One of the things I do want to talk to you guys about is there needs to be certain factors when you're getting your oils. Number one is your oils always need to be delivered in a system where the bottle is dark. The reason is, is because oils, once they are extracted, they are prone to become unstable with the UV, UVB rays. So this right here would protect it. They're also very unstable in high heat. So what you wanna do is you wanna store them in a cool place away from any sun. I actually have mine in a drawer that I use that I just keep them in the drawer all the time. I really never even keep them out on the top of a table. So that's really important for you to remember because they can they can go rancid, which is spoiling. If, a, if an oil does go rancid, you usually will be able to smell it. It just smells off. If you've ever eaten a peanut and the peanut was bad, the rancid, spoiled um, oil in that, in that peanut, it's the peanut oil gone bad. So that's kind of what these are. You can smell them. Now, um, does this... Um, buckthorn oil have a scent a little bit this smells vitamin e which is really good because um it said it had the vitamin e in it it does smell like vitamin e if you've ever pierced a capsule of, of vitamin e you know what i'm talking about and so then this one next one is the marula oil and again it is cold pressed virgin marula oil okay so the claim for marula oil is that it's an antioxidant rich oil says that it's actually called the luxury oil. It's really good not only in antioxidants and, and once again keeping your skin free, uh, you know, uh, protected against free radicals, but it's also um, used to, it says that it can re 
restore the radiance to your skin and it's really good for hydrating. My so other favorite one for a hydrator is the squalane oil. This says squalane is sat is a saturated and stabled hydrocarbon that is found naturally in the skin. It's very high in emollients and it's an exceptional hydrator and it can prevent the ongoing loss of hydration. So if you already have really, really dry skin like I do, then using squalane oil can actually help you keep the hydration that you have and, and put it back into your skin. It says that it can also be used on any skin type. So if you have oily skin, if you have dry skin and anything in between, you can use this and it's not going to clog your pores. And it also says that it can be used in hair to, if you have damaged hair, dry hair, it can be used in your hair for its hydrating properties. And this is also a good heat protectant, it says, and will also help with shine. So this oil is the rosehip seed oil. This is one of my favorite oils. This says that it is a, again, it is very high in linoleic and linolenic acid and it is also high in rich in vitamin A. This has been known to help with the signs of photo aging, which means that any damage that you're getting from any um, sun or anything like that, it can actually help with that. And that would be the vitamin A property in it. But it also says that it has a brightening property to it, which it really does. And if any of you are familiar with um, rosehip seed oil, it is a yellow oil. So it's not just the yellow that brightens your skin. It actually is that vitamin in there that is helping your skin. So you can use the this one in the morning it does not leave like a yellow cast across your skin like the buckthorn did with the orange so the other thing i want to speak to is that um dcm or the ordinary they have always adhered to your oils being a hundred percent that oil it's either going to it's going to be cold pressed if the need is there for that it's going to be a hundred percent organic all those good things that you find that you can really skimp on when you're mass producing an oil, but they don't do that. So I really am really happy that they have kept their standards high without costing us an arm and a leg. Okay, this next one right here is the Argon oil that we talked about, the Josie Marin oil. She's the one that kind of brought that to the forefront. This oil can be used in your hair, can be actually any of, the, any of these oils can be used anywhere. You can use them underneath your eyes, you can use them across your lips, you can use them in your hair, on your scalp, on your body, use them as a nourishing cuticle oil, anything like that. Talked about the squalane and the marula oil oil both being really super hydrators. This one is too. You can also mix these with your favorite moisturizer. Try doing that. Put a few drops in with your moisturizer and then, you know, it goes all over your body. It can go all over your face at nighttime. Obviously, that's what we're talking about. Next one I want to share with you is again 100% organic and it is cold pressed. And this one is the Barrage Seed Oil. It is soothing and nourishing and contains exceptionally high concentrates of Ghana linolenic acid, GLA, and is an important fatty acid. So it offers a calming effect, maintains healthy skin, is suitable particularly well for dry and irritable skin or ir you know, if you have very, very sensitive skin. This has a little bit of a color to it, but nothing like the other one. The scent in this one, is very, very light. There's hardly any scent in it, but I can feel how hydrating this one particularly is. I actually will use the Barrage Seed Oil when I've, um, after I've treated my skin, if I've done a really strong exfoliation peel, or if I've been using my Retin-A and it's done a little bit of irritating, I actually will use this. I actually got a really bad heat rash recently, um, right around my neck right here, which was really strange to me, but I got it really bad and I was using it on my chest because it just it actually hurt really bad right there on my chest from the heat rash so um i really do love that one i've been using that one like crazy okay this next one is the chia seed oil and again this one is 100 percent organic and it is cold pressed and it is the virgin seed oil chia seed oil is really really good soother as well it is used to nourish the skin and calm the skin. It has says it has exceptionally high concentrations of vitamins, minerals, 
antioxidants and all those acids that we were talking about earlier, the linoleic and the linoic acid, stearic acid, in order to help calm skin. All of these acids are found naturally in our skin, but they can get depleted as we age. So using these oils and you know choosing whichever one you want to use is a really good way for you to restore that natural um, vitality to our skin. Okay, the chia seed oil, it does have a strong smell to it, just so you know that. Um, I don't know if any of you, it actually, it actually, it has a really strong plant smell to it. And I can't put my finger on what it almost, you know what it smells like? I know exactly what it smells like. It smells like spinach. Um, so it must have a lot of vitamins and minerals in it because we know that spinach does. Okay. I've saved my very favorite oil till the last, and this is the bee oil. It says that the bee oil is a purified form of microalgae in a blend of squalane, marula, argon, baobab, patua, brazil nut, inca, inchi, rosehip, and barrage seed oil. That's all a very technical way of telling you that it has a ton of really good oils in it, but it also has that microalgae in it, which is really good, like seaweed and kelp and all those things that are really good for your skin and your system. It has those in there too. It is like a light green, um, which does not translate on your skin really, but um, it is that different color for sure. And as you can see right there, there's no green on my hand at all. Um, it is an extreme hydrator. It just, I love this oil. It sinks in so quickly into my skin as I'm using it. What I would tell you about these oils is pick a couple that you would like. If I was going to pick some that I thought would be really good to start off with, it would be the bee oil. I think that is wonderful. It would also be the squalane oil and it would also be the marula oil. I think those are the ones that I would start off with. Um, Pick one of those if you want to, but go to the DCM website and read through there and kind of decide what your particular needs are and then go ahead and try one of these oils out. I feel like they are so good for our skin. I've fallen in love with them. One of the things that I do want to tell you guys is that I actually, at night, I will make a little cocktail in my hand of one drop of each of these in my hand. Um, and then I have some um, actual oil drops that are as tanner and I'll put that in with there in with those and I'll actually put that all over my skin. And yes, the buckthorn oil does make me very bright and very orange, but I don't mind it because I know it's so good for my skin. So I am using actually almost every single one of these. Do I use every single one of them in my hair? No, I don't. I don't use them, you know, until I'm actually going to be, um, you know, washing my hair the next morning because I wash my hair about every two to three days. So if I'm gonna be washing it the next morning, I will put some of that in, pull my hair up and let that um, you know, treat my hair overnight. You can actually use some of these on your scalp as a really good scalp massage as well. If you were to combine all of these together, I bet it would cost less than one bottle of oil that you were to get from out of a department store off of their expensive beauty counters. So I hope that this was enjoyable and helpful to you. If it was, please give it a thumbs up and let me know if you have question about any of the oils that I didn't exactly say exactly what it's been doing for me or how I've been feeling about it, please let me know in the comment section below and I will try to explain to you a little bit more. Um, I think that's everything that I have to say today. I've been really long-winded, but I really wanted to talk to you about every single one of the oils that they have out because I feel like they're so good and I appreciate them so much. So you guys, you all take care of yourselves. I love you very, very much. I hope that you're all having a great week and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye you guys.